start building the battery rack for the for the red rocket here. I got all my steel. Um, I have a couple sticks in my truck, which is the one and a half by one and a half box tubing, which is the base for the actual rack. And uh, so what we're gonna do here is just test fitting. We're gonna do 10 batteries all across the back right here. Bam. And then I'm gonna mount the one pump right here. And the back pump on this side. So just two pumps, 10 batteries. Um, six batteries to the front, four to the back. So you can see I have my uprights here. These are all welded to the frame and I'm gonna build off of these up, uprights. So from the measurements, what I'm looking at is I'm gonna, I'm gonna build the, the, the frame or the base of the rack off of this side and right off this other side. So I'm gonna have two of the box tubes going across as the base. And then we're gonna build the actual, the, the rack itself, the angle iron on top of that. So I'm gonna start with all the cutting and the measuring. And then um, this right here is gonna be the battery hold down. This is a one by two. And then these right here are for the uprights where this is gonna bolt onto. That's a one by one box tube. And I'm gonna weld in a nut here. And um, I'm gonna have two, two hold downs on the top. Well, two uprights for one hold down. So I'll bring you out a little closer once this actually looks like something. All right, so we got a couple pieces cut out already for the for the setup here. Um, the first piece, well, one of the first pieces is this uh, one and a half inch by one and a half inch uh, box tubing, and um, this is the base of the uh, of the setup. So you, you want you want the base to be the most sturdy part of the whole setup. That way, um, you won't run into like a sagging rack or, or any kind of problems in the future. So this is actually the, the thickest metal in the whole rack. This is quarter inch. And um, the reason being is because it's gonna have a lot of weight. It's gonna have 10 batteries around here and there's obviously no support here in the middle. So we cut out two of these pieces. One is actually gonna be welded up right there once it's leveled. And um, this one here is exactly 70 inches. And that's the measurement that we need for the 10 batteries. So there's gonna be two of these, one here, it's actually gonna be welded here, leveled up. And then the other one's gonna be welded on this side, which I already be, it's already been cut. Um, we also cut, we also cut the hole down for the battery. And uh, for this tubing, it is a one by two, it's a rectangle. And I believe it's a 5 16th uh, thickness on this. And again, this was 70 inches and um, we came up on the, the 70 inch mark with the hold downs in place. So as you can see, I have a dot right there. That's where I'm going to cut the, i to be careful here. I don't want to touch these terminals. So this is the upright that we cut. Let me get it out here. So in here, I'm going to weld in a nut and then that, that's going to be here. And then I'm going to put a hole here and then put the bolt through. So there's two of these, and these, this is a one by one. So you gotta account for, for those two inches, one inch here and one inch here. So these are group 31 batteries. Every single group 31 battery measures uh, 13 by seven. So it's 13 in length, seven inches in width, and uh, eight and a half in height. So these were cut down exactly to eight and a half inches and this is a one by one three sixteenth inch uh tubing so next up we already have the two bases cut the other one's over here this one and next we're going to go ahead and cut the the angle iron again to 70 inches so 10 batteries across the back Accounting for the, the two inches on the on the uprights for the hold down, it's exactly 70 inches. And side to side on the 
on the trunk on these cars it's about 74 inches so there's not a lot of wiggle room in there so you have to build the rack inside the trunk so let me get some more cutting done and i'll bring you up i got my happy helper here what you got to say elijah what are you learning today i'm learning that you speak up man I learned that it needs a lot of batteries to use for, for a couple of hydraulics. Okay, okay, yeah. What about the cutting? What have you learned on the cutting so far? It's loud. <laughs> it's loud, all right. All right, we'll bring you back. So I just wanted to uh, show how to make the ends of the battery racks uh, from, for what has worked for me, it's been easier. Um, a lot of people, what they do, they do 45 angles and they do uh, beveled edges which look really nice and but to me it's it's a waste of time because you don't even get to see that so what i've done uh, get the camera a little closer over here what, I, what i've done in the past is i measure my end here and my end over here and i mark on the inside right here and here and then I obviously mark the the cut on the outside and then what i do is that i cut out this area mm -hmm. so i make my cut here and then i'm going to cut here and here Okay. And I'm gonna do the same on this side, and and you'll see how how much of an easier weld that is than than doing 45s. 45s, like I said, they look nicer, but you didn't even get to see that stuff. So I'm gonna show y'all how this works. Okay. The edges were cut out, and this is how it fits. Boom, just right there. So you just go in, do your welds outside, and ground them, grind them on the outside, and and that's it. So to me, this is a easier than doing the 45 and it looks cleaner uh, once it's well done, in my opinion. So I'm just showing you guys what's worked for me as far as uh, putting these racks together. So we got more cuts done. Um, again, this is the base of the battery rack. And um, all of this stuff was measured prior to anything. So, I mean, this stuff is, is pretty methodical. You gotta think this stuff out like way from the beginning. So whenever I was reinforcing my frame, I got the measurements for the uprights from the, from the body mounts. So if you look at right here now, Well, you probably can't see that very well, but from from edge to edge right here on this um, box tube, it's exactly 13 inches. So we're going to weld, once we get these leveled, I'm going to clamp them in, get them leveled. We're going to weld them right here, right here, and then down here like this, and then and same on the other side. So it's going to be welded on three sides. And this is the base of the rack. And right here. Same thing on this side. Again, these are exactly 70 inches long. It's a one and a half by one and a half box tubing. And since it's the base, I went a little thicker on the middle, maybe overkill, but this is quarter inch steel on this. Everything else on the battery rack is 3 16 um, minus the hole down. I, I believe this is 5 16 It's a little bit thinner, but it's still really sturdy. So here is the rack on the outside. I got it all cut, all measured. And there it is right there. So all that has been measured completely with the batteries. So I'm going to weld these in. And then that rack that I just showed y'all goes welded on top of here. But uh, actually before I weld in the, uh, the top rack, I'm going to do some, uh, some cross sections. So right here, I'm gonna get some of this same tubing and weld them across where we're gonna have the upright for the battery hold down. So it's probably gonna land somewhere here. So I'm gonna have two of them, one, and then uh, some wherever this, uh, the battery hold down goes, probably about right here on this side. I'm gonna weld these across and weld the, the, uh, the uprights right here for the battery hold downs. And then back over here, I gotta measure to see where exactly I want the pumps but it's probably gonna be about right here. I'm gonna weld a angle iron out here like this. 
slot it and then add a gusset to it just for just to keep it secure so that's where we're at so far and um, i'll bring y'all back when we get a little closer So we got the base of the battery rack welded in now. And I'm fixing to show that to you now. So let me turn this on. There we go. So this is some of the base. It's missing a few pieces, but these are completely welded in now. Everything was checked with a level. It's all nice and even. And um, I was able to weld uh, three sides on these. One, two, and three. Dang, did I weld it? Yeah, one, two, three on each one so they're really sturdy and again i know i said it a bunch of times but this is a one and a half by one and a half square tubing and it's a quarter inch thick thank you airplane so down here what we got is uh i actually have all the batteries um in the in the actual angle arm so next i'm gonna do um the uprights, so I'm, I just wanted to show y'all how, how how well it fit in the rack. So there it is in the rack. So here's one of the uprights, and it's after the third battery. So you got one, two, three, upright, and then you got four in the middle, and then upright, right there, and then one, two, three. So for the, on the upright, what we're gonna do is we're gonna weld another square tubing, probably about right here. So it's it's 21 inches from the end. So wherever that is, I'm gonna test fit it. And then I'm gonna use this same tubing and I'm gonna weld it across here. And then we're gonna put the angle iron over all of this, weld that in. And then the upright is gonna be welded right in the middle, right here of, of this, um, of this tubing that I'm gonna weld in right here. So I'm gonna do that the same. I'm gonna do that the same on, on both sides. So that's coming up next. Everything is fitting really good so far. Um, so let me let me get on to the next and I'll bring it back. All right, so the measurement on the upright, I explained it already, but I just want y'all to see. So from the end of the battery to the upright, it's right at 21 inches. 21 inches exact. And same over here on this side. 21 inches. So that's where we're gonna put the uh, these across here on the on the tube. So we're gonna go from the end here. About 21 inches. So it's gonna be about right here. So once I get those welded in, I believe they're 10 inches from here to here. I'm gonna cut two of those out. Once I get those welded in, then I can start on the actual angle iron. All right, so I got the, um, I got the angle, angle iron uh, welded in now. Uh, I finished that back corner right here. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna pull these batteries out. So I got three batteries. I just wanted to show y'all where the upright is for the hold down. So it's just tacked in right now. I'm gonna weld it in. I just wanted you, I wanted y'all to see it before I weld it in with the with the batteries right there. So that's three three batteries. There's one, two, three, and then you're gonna have the the upright for the hold down. Four in the middle, and then another one of these, and then the other three on the on the other side. So it's just a quick. So let me get this welded in. Let me uh, take out the batteries and then I'll show you all the rest of it back there. All right, I got that section welded up uh, through and through. That one's welded. This everything's welded in over here on this side now. Um, here's how the back end looks without the batteries. So I'm almost done with this rack here. 
I gotta do the same thing to the other side. Go that little back section, which is this one. Excuse me. Gotta weld in that one back there. And then uh, weld in the other the other uh, upright for the for the hole down. But I just wanted you to show you guys, I wanted to show you guys through and through of everything that it takes to fabricate something like this, weld it and get it done. Like, so everything is, nothing is overlapped. Everything is welded in, completely welded in. And um, the angle iron is gonna be welded like this in a few more sections onto the, the square tubing on the bottom. So um, this stuff isn't going anywhere. I'm gonna go back and probably throw another weld over here on all three sides, just another really heavy weld, since that is the, the base of the whole thing. And this stuff is still warm. So this stuff, I wouldn't say it's hard, but it's definitely time consuming and tedious. So it's a lot of measuring, obviously a lot of cutting, more measuring, more cutting. And uh, I would just recommend to take your time on something like this. I mean, really any process on, on building a car, there's nothing you should get in a rush for because the moment you do, something's gonna go wrong and then you're just gonna have to go back and redo it. So. If you don't have the time to do something, or if something ain't going right while you're working on your car, just walk away and come back the next day. I've gotten to some, some things where something ain't going right, and then um, I try to keep working, and things just are failing left and right. So sometimes you just need to call it quits, close the garage, and, and go inside. Because all of this stuff is tedious and time consuming. But um, I'm almost I'm almost done here. I gotta weld in the other upright and then the other section over there in the back, and then I'm gonna go ahead and weld in the um, the, uh, the brackets that actually hold the pump. So uh, I'll get to that and I'll show you how to measure that and you know show you the measurements on the pump and all that other stuff. So um, this is where I'm so far. I'm gonna get this section done, bring y'all back, and that might be a wrap for tonight. Well, there it is. That's all I'm doing for today. I'm beat. I've been at this for like five hours. Everything turned out really nice. So it still needs quite a bit of work. Well, I wouldn't say quite a bit. Um, I gotta weld in some angle iron back here to hold in the uh, solenoids. Do three solenoids to the back pump and I'm gonna weld in another angle iron on this side for the front pump. I'm gonna do four solenoids to the front which is probably overkill but um whatever should be all right so they're gonna be about right there just a little bit higher so I gotta weld in those and I gotta weld in the nuts in here which that's really easy. And then I got to weld in the, the pedestal brackets for the pumps. It's going to be about right here. It may, it may line up with these actually. I can probably just weld one all the way through so it can be uh, nice and sturdy. I'm going to do the same over here. So it needs just a little bit more work. And then I'm going to paint it. I haven't decided what to do as far as color. And I have a few options. I don't know if I should paint the batteries or leave them alone or paint this red and leave the batteries the way they are. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. So the plan for this thing is, and I'm gonna walk you off through everything from start to finish. Um, it's one pump to the front, one piston pump to the front with an ADEX number 11 gear uh, with um, 72 volts to the front. So six batteries to the front and then uh, four batteries to the back pump. The back is uh, number nine, and um, it's gonna have, you know, Parker slowdowns. I'm not gonna do ADEX in the back just yet, 
but I will eventually. But um, it, it's gonna have some power and it's and still gonna look nice at the same time. Everything's gonna be nice and nice and neat. So, I mean, it, it should work. I'm not exactly gonna put it up on the sticks or nothing to, you know, for, for competition or anything like that. But I just like having the power, you know, just, just for whatever, whatever reason. I like I like having it so so that's the plan it's just gonna have four switches uh, three to the back back corners and then up and down and then the front is just gonna have one switch so I'm gonna leave this as part one and um, it's probably gonna be a three-part series by the time we get this finished up but like I said I'm gonna walk y'all from walk y'all through from start to finish so uh, y'all stay tuned if you have any questions like always just hit me up in the comment section and I'll be glad to answer whatever I can. Thanks guys.